changes that do help you comfortable. So we've just checked into our room. It's about one o'clock I think, but we've just checked in and look at these views. How incredible is that? And then it's dual aspect. So over here we also have a view of the river. For the purposes of full tour, this is the bed area. We've got a TV here. And I think through here is the bathroom. Yes. So I've just briefly got ready because I was looking a little bit gross after the flight but this is the first outfit and we're just going to head out. I don't really know what we're going to do but we're going to go get some food, maybe a bagel or something because when in Rome and yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do, just going to have a little wander. I think it's just gone two o'clock now so we've got a fair amount of time this afternoon. guys i haven't done a proper intro yet but it's now friday and we've just had some breakfast i think it's about 10 o'clock and we're just gonna head out we're gonna go to the top of the rockefeller and then we are gonna head off to west village i think for some lunch i think we're gonna go to times square on the way but we had a little meet around yesterday we walked up to central park came back early and fell asleep i think at like 10 or maybe we were early because we were really tired from traveling so i think we had about 12 hours sleep but it meant that we were up a little bit earlier today because of the time difference so yes we have eaten got ready and we're just gonna head out now and it's a really beautiful day so we thought we'd do the top of the rock while it's such nice weather but we've got that booked at half 10 so we need to leave now but yes that is what we're up to today I'm really excited to be here the views are so beautiful it's so lovely this morning and we saw the sunset last night as well let's go and see some more of new york these are the views this morning look how beautiful that light is lunch and we're just having a little mooch around now um, there is 
a bakery that we're going to go to, I think, and a book shop. I think there's a nice street that we're going to have a little wander down, so we're just going to mooch around here for a while. We had lunch at Olio y Puy. I don't know how you say it, but it was so good. I would highly recommend. Thank you. Thank you. just got back and we went to a bookshop in West Village that was really sweet um, and I picked up a couple of books. The first one I got was Severance which I don't think I've heard of before I'm not sure it's kind of confusing because I don't recognize the covers a lot of the covers because they're the American ones not the English ones but when I'm in English bookshops I usually recognize all of the covers so I know what I'm looking for but yes I picked up this one which I kind of picked up there's not really much on the blurb got really good reviews and I read a couple of pages and I was like yeah, why not? And I think it's set in New York, or at least the beginning set in New York. So I picked that one up. It's also a bit bigger than English books, I think. So it's kind of annoying to go on my bookshelf, but I thought it'd be a nice souvenir because I love books. And then I also picked up, this was actually the first thing that I picked up, A Little Life, but it is signed. So I already have a copy, but this one is signed and it has a different cover to the one that I already have. So, and I think this one is normal size. It's a little bit smaller, so it should fit on my shelf, I think. But yes, it's called Three Lives and Company. Yeah, it's really cute. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday and we're just about to head off. We're going to go to get a little boat tour around the Statue of Liberty and what's the island called? Ellis Island and Ellis Island. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think it takes a little while to do that and a little while to get there. And then I think we make get another bagel. We have a dinner reservation at this pasta place. We could only get it at 5.30 because we only booked it this morning. So we're gonna go to that at 5.30 this afternoon. And then I think we're gonna go get some more drinks or something afterwards, but those are the rough plans for today. But we spent most of the day yesterday in West Village and then we got, and then we went to get some drinks at a sky bar that was like a rooftop bar that was really close to our hotel, like an eight minute walk. So we went to that, which was nice and then fell asleep pretty early again. I still don't think that I'm probably accustomed to the time zone change, so. This is what I'm wearing today. I have my puffer on, which I always get questions about. It's just from Depop, I got it years ago. Polo, Ralph Lauren, and then Zara jumper. And cream jeans from Stradivarius, I think. They're a little bit short on me. And some Converse. Please excuse the mess behind me. But I think I might be making us late, so I think we need to head off now. tasting and this is the truffle so we get five different half pastas and this is the first one lipsticks cold the bus stops freezing we started walking for no reason the weather didn't call for rain tonight nothing's gone it's not forgotten you say this doesn't happen often but i can tell that something's on your mind Good morning guys, look at the snow, oh, 
look at that, it's snowing so much. We're about to head out, we're going to the MoMA today because it is quite snowy so we thought we'd do some stuff that was inside and then I think we might go to Central Park because the snow will have settled more there. So yeah, those are the plans today. We did that pasta tasting yesterday so you get five different pastas at this restaurant that we went to. There was a truffle one, some sort of like stuffed courgette one I think with mint and then cacio e pepe and what else was there? One with like gold leaf on it, that was my least favourite. What's the other one? Oh, like a tomato, like a spicy tomato garlicky rigatoni I think and it was all so good, like it was so worth sharing those five pastas so you get five half portions and we had a couple glasses of wine then we found a really nice bar that was close by which was like nice and intimate and it got quite busy while we were there but we just had a bottle of wine there um, and then made our way back home so that was all really really nice last night and the pasta thing was so good but yes we booked some dinner tonight we are just about to head out now and i'm so excited that it's snowing but i think it's gonna be really really cold today so i don't know if i'm gonna be warm enough but yes let's go Thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Does that be me? 